Hey everyone, how's it going? You may have been watching my how to do pixel mapping and sound switch video and thought to yourself, there's gotta be an easier way to do this. Well, dear viewer, what if I told you that there is? That's right, there's an easier way to create cool chases without extensive programming. Many fixtures let you trigger built-in chases and the speed of those chases with DMX values, and the way to access that in sound switch is through attribute cues. I don't think that this replaces manual programming, but it's rather another tool in your tool belt of light programming techniques. Today I'll be using my Alibaba Pixel Tube. Yep, the same one from my review video. I decided to connect it to wireless DMX. You know, it wasn't super easy. The manual didn't really give any instructions how, but the manufacturer was able to help me out. So the first step is to look at your manual and choose which fixture profile you want. My fixture has an 8, 20, and 68 channel profile. The difference is usually the one with more channels lets you have more control over the individual zones, and it usually won't let you trigger presets. This light is cool because it lets you trigger the presets in any of the three DMX modes. So I can manually create a cool rainbow chase, or I can use some attribute cues and access some of these built-in presets. So when you're in sound switch, you can check whether your light already exists, or you can send a polite email to the sound switch team with a photo or screenshot of the manual, and they'll add it for you. I requested that the 8 channel mode and the 68 channel mode be added. So Liam messaged me and told me the name of the fixture that was added, and it was under generic and battery LED tube light. There's an 8 and 68 channel mode. So I wanna do the 68 channel mode, so you can see I have it right here. And since there's various DMX profiles on your light, make sure that your light is set to the appropriate profile as well. All right, here you can see I have an auto loop and this yellow fixture is my pixel tube and I have no programming data associated with it. So it's following the intensity and color of the master track. Yeah, very cool. So let's go ahead and create an attribute queue. I like to create a folder just to keep things organized. Cause if you, if you have only a couple, it's not a big deal, but once you start to have more, it can be a big jumbled mess. So I'll just say pixel tube. And now let's add our attribute queue. It's also good to name these just so you don't get mixed up. So I'll say preset one. You can even name it pixel tube preset one. So you double click it. And so when you select an attribute queue, you can set the special function for many fixtures at the same time but I'm only worried about this one, because I only have one. As you can see here, we can select which chase we want, and it's a color and intensity chase. And I noticed in my eight channel mode that it only did intensity, so I could like set the color and this wouldn't affect the color at all, and that was kind of cool. So you can select which chase you want and the speed. I've noticed for this particular fixture, just having it all the way at 255 works best. So the manual doesn't tell me like the, <laughs> the addresses of the various presets. So you just have to try it out. So as you can see here, it's being animated. So I can slide it over, the animation changes. And so I can find one that I like. I mean, this comes jam packed with a lot of presets. I mean, some fixtures like the Shova Wellsticks 180s are pretty limited. So I'm just scrolling to show you some of the presets that are here. I like this one. I actually want it a little bit slower. That's probably too slow. Uh, there we go, I like that. Okay, and apply. So if I want to have that animation anywhere in my show, then I just put it right here. And there we go. So as you can see, like while the rest of my lights are gonna be following the master track, this pixel tube is gonna be doing this animation, you know? When manually scripting, you have more control of making the chase align with the beat. And this is more just at the mercy of the speed setting you set in your attribute queue. So let's create another attribute queue. We'll call it preset two, I suppose. I'm terrible at naming these different animations. Let's go here. 
And you know, you could have your speeds be in a different attribute queue so that you can have like a slow one and a fast one. Then you would set attribute queues just for the chases. Yeah, I like this one, perfect. Apply. So let's put the preset like one bar after this one, after preset one. So when we start this auto loop and it's gonna do preset one and then it's gonna do preset two once it hits the attribute queue. So pretty easy. And then I'll just show you really quick. I'm not gonna even name it. That's bad practice, but this is just a quick demonstration. Let's just do the speed. Let's have it be super slow. So, you know, I didn't set a preset for it. I just have the speed. So like if you start here, it's gonna be doing the fast speed. And then once it hits that, it doesn't change the preset because this attribute queue doesn't have any preset info, but it changed the speed of our animation. All right, pretty cool. And that's basically it. Every fixture is gonna have different presets and it's up to you to see which ones you like and which ones you don't like. But yeah, sometimes, you know, manual programming has its benefits because you can create cool animations that you wouldn't be able to with the presets. But you know, something you can do is have some manual animations and then some of your auto loops can have some of those attributes just to mix up your show a little bit and give some variety to it. Thanks for watching my video. And what do you think? Are using attribute cues easier than manual programming? Are you gonna still be doing manual programming after learning this technique? Leave your comments, questions, or concerns in the comments down below. And like always, please smash like and subscribe. It really helps this channel grow. I'll see you in the next video.